Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Conquest versus Breakthrough and these kind of two main modes of Battlefield 5. I think that Conquest and Breakthrough are the best modes in Battlefield 5, other than Squad Conquest. I think, well it's kind of like I think if you want a small game mode, Conquest is the way to freaking go, man. I love it. Uh, for big game modes, Conquest and Breakthrough. So you got Squad Conquest for tiny game modes. Big ones, Conquest and Breakthrough. We're talking about Conquest and Breakthrough today. And they kind of do feel similar in some ways and different in other ways. I think Conquest, you have more of a strategy to it, okay? Where... Like, in Conquest, you're not always going to have a medic around, you're not always going to have a support around, you're not going to have two squads next to you fighting off enemies, right? But what you're going to have is a tactical kind of strategy thing where maybe it's you versus two other people, and if you kill these two other people, you're going to cap 50% of the objective, right? You know that, like, okay, I kill these two people, you get an objective halfway down, then there's more come, then you deal with it then. Whereas when it comes to Breakthrough... It's a lot of kind of gun skill and a lot more, you know, there's still the objective capping, but there's a lot more like, you just gotta fight out, like as soon as you start capping that objective and breakthrough, you're fighting enemies, dude, all the time, constant streams of enemies. How long can you spot them? How long can you live? You know, very much more fast paced. But I still think um, there's definitely weaknesses to them, like, con like breakthrough, if there's one objective, 64 people on one objective, horrible idea. Conquest, if it's too spread out, like Hamada on Conquest, if Hamada was built slightly differently, or no, let's look at Narvik. Narvik, you can have the, the two massive amounts of players on the map do this. They do this. And they don't really fight each other. They just cap objectives in the circle. Like, that happens a lot to me, actually. A lot more than it should. It doesn't happen very often, but a lot more than it should. So, when it comes to these game modes, I think that... What's really nice about them is Breakthrough, very much gun skill based. Not a lot of strategy, very much gun skill based. Conquest, not a lot of gun skill, very much strategy. And what I would totally love, man, I don't know how they would do this at all. I don't know how it would work, is to combine gun skill and strategy, okay? Take a look at Rainbow Six Siege. The 5v5 part, gun skill and strategy with how Siege works. If they could take Battlefield 5 to the 32 on 32 strategic, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, dude, that would be freaking amazing. I would love that so much. I think, um, you know, that would definitely be the mode that, like, defines Battlefield 5. Like, let's be honest here. Battlefield 1, Operations was, like, the thing in Battlefield 1. It was the mode. And I also really actually like the Pigeons game mode. Pigeons was, I think, my favorite small game mode in Battlefield 1. Uh, but Battlefield 5, if they can take the cause gunplay in this game is really freaking good. I love the gunplay in Battlefield 5. And then you have that strategy of conquest, like I don't even know how it would work. Alright? Maybe like Maybe like here's what I'm thinking right now, this mode that's coming in my head. You have a conquest map, okay? And you have your squads, okay? So let's say uh there's six four people, thirty-two people um on a team. There's eight V eight squads, okay? So you have these eight squads, they pick an objective, these eight squads pick an objective, let's just say. And you kind of know how many squads are going where, maybe. And you earn vehicle streaks, planes, stuff like that. And then there's like a timer, you prep it, you prep it, you do your thing, right? You go, right? Like, literally do siege, but through like five minute timer and you pick your objective, then as a squad, you only go after the one objective, right? So let's say, I'm just going to give an example of this. You have objective A, B, C. Your one squad goes after A. You have one squad go after A. Whoever kills each other gets A, right? Or caps it. Then you can have a situation where you have two squads go to B, six squads go to B on the other team. But then the six squads go to C, you know? And then you can pick to go from C to B, you know, stuff like that. I don't know how exactly that would work, because there's definitely a lot of problems I can see happening in that game mode. But, you guys see what I'm saying. Maybe it works on an individual level, I don't know. But, really guys, I think if that strategy 
you know, that individual strategy contribution and the chaos of breakthrough, if you could put it together, man, boom, you got yourself a golden game mode. Which I don't even know if that's possible with 64 people. Honestly, I don't know. I think I would love Battlefield 5. That'd be like the game mode for Battlefield 5, because that's what it was kind of like with Operations of Battlefield 1. You know, Battlefield 1, you had 32 people going at 32 people. Let's just go grab these objectives, man. It was awesome, right? And the objectives were definitely like set. Like you could tell that the maps were definitely built with this in mind, okay? Then you got the freaking behemoths coming in and the abilities, like the special classes that you can get, like the armored freaking juggernaut. It just worked so well. It made Battlefield 1 feel so special. And that special part is still in... You know, it's not as big as Battlefield 1, but I think in Breakthrough and Battlefield 5, that special chaos of just like, let's go at each other, you know, happens for sure. So let me know what you think about in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. Man, thinking of this game mode is making me hype for Battlefield 5. I wish I wish an awesome game mode like that would come out. Um, yeah, I'm Pacific Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever side I make.